sunny, 90, southeast at 8. Denton, mostly sunny, 91, southeast at 9. Good morning. Sherman Denison, cloudy, 90, southeast at 10. Ardmore, mostly sunny, 90, southeast at 9, gusting to 18. Elsewhere around the region, DSW Airport, mostly sunny, 91, southeast at 14. Wichita Falls, partly sunny, 91, east at 8, gusting to 16. Oklahoma City, mostly sunny, 87, south at 10. Paris, mostly sunny, 88, east at 7. It is now time to check on the latest tropical activity in the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. Here is Tropical Storm Felipe Intermediate Advisory Number 37M, location 17.3 North 61.0 West, or about 55 miles east southeast of Barbuda. Maximum sustained wind, 50 miles an hour, percent movement, northwest or 305 degrees at 7 miles an hour, minimum central pressure, 1,000 millibars, or 29.53 inches. Remember, you can hear the tropical summary at the top and bottom of every hour when there is activity occurring in the Atlantic Basin. Now let's check on your local forecast for the games in listening area, rest of this afternoon. Sunny, highs in the lower 90s. Southeast winds around 10 miles an hour. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 60s. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs around 90. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 70. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. And now the extended forecast. Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms. Humid with highs in the mid 80s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Wednesday night, thunderstorms, showers. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Lows in the mid 60s. Chance of rain 90%. Thursday, Mostly cloudy. Showers and thunderstorms likely in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of rain 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Lows around 60. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 70s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows around 50. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 50s. Columbus Day, sunny. Highs in the mid 70s. The hazardous weather outlook through tonight for North Texas. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Fodder activation is not expected at this time. And now the hazardous weather outlook for Tuesday through Sunday. There is a slight chance of thunderstorms in western North Texas and portions of central Texas Tuesday afternoon and night. Storm chances will increase area-wide Wednesday through Thursday. A few strong to severe storms can be ruled out on Wednesday and Wednesday night, with hail and gusty winds expected to be the main severe hazards. The heaviest and most widespread rainfall is expected to occur from Wednesday evening through Thursday, and instances of flooding are possible during this period. The ultraviolet index forecast for October 3rd is 7, or high. The current time is 3.34 p.m. Central Daylight Time. You are listening to NOAA, All Hazards Radio, the voice of the National Weather Service, Station KHV-99, serving the Munster and Gainesville listening area. The following reports of weather temperature and wind were made at 3 p.m. Gainesville, mostly sunny, 90, dew point 52, relative humidity 27%, wind southeast at 9, pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Boyd, cloudy. 91, dew point 55, relative humidity 28%, wind southeast at 9, pressure 30.02 inches and falling. Bridgeport, 
Sunny, 92, southeast at 9. Decatur, Sunny, 90, southeast at 8. Denton, mostly sunny, 91, southeast at 9. Sherman Denison, cloudy, 90, southeast at 10. Ardmore, mostly sunny, 90, southeast at 9, gusting to 18. Elsewhere around the region, DSW Airport, mostly sunny, 91, southeast at 14. Wichita Falls, partly sunny, 91, east at 8, gusting to 16. Oklahoma City, mostly sunny, 87, south at 10. Paris, mostly sunny, 88, east at 7. Now let's check on your local forecast for the games and listening area. Rest of this afternoon, sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Southeast winds around 10 miles an hour. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 60s. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs around 90. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 70. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. And now the extended forecast. Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms. Humid with sight in the mid 80s. South winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain 90%. Wednesday night, thunderstorms, showers. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Lows in the mid 60s. Chance of rain 90%. Thursday, mostly cloudy. Showers and thunderstorms likely in the morning, then a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. Chance of rain 60%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Lows around 60. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 50s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 70s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows around 50. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-70s. Sunday night, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 50s. Columbus Day, sunny. Highs in the mid-70s. The hazardous weather outlook through tonight for North Texas. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Water activation is not expected at this time. And now the hazardous weather outlook for Tuesday through Sunday. There is a slight chance of thunderstorms in western North Texas and portions of central Texas Tuesday afternoon and night. Storm chances will increase area-wide Wednesday through Thursday. A few strong to severe storms can't be ruled out on Wednesday and Wednesday night, with hail and gusty winds expected to be the main severe hazards. The heaviest and most widespread rainfall is expected to occur from Wednesday evening through Thursday, and instances of flooding are possible during this period. The ultraviolet index forecast for October 3rd is 7, or high. The current time is 3.38 p.m. Central Daylight Time. You are listening to NOAA All Hazards Radio, the voice of the National Weather Service, station KHA 99. Serving the Munster and Gainesville listening area. The following reports of weather temperature and wind are made at 5 p.m. Gainesville, mostly sunny, 90, midpoint 52, relative humidity 27%, wind southeast at 9, pressure 30.04 inches and falling. Boy, cloudy, hey. 91, midpoint 55, relative humidity 28%, wind south. What in the heck are you doing? Yeah, hang on. Not a daggum thing, huh? Well, you're breathing air. <laughs> well, I'm playing with the internet that it's going on and off and on and off. And 
Huh. How about your internet? Did you get your computer working or get a new computer or what did you do there? Is it a lot more fun? <laughs> oh. Well, I, I don't see why you couldn't, Gary. Uh, they're they're out there. Uh, apparently, it is very difficult getting a visa or or getting a them in the country permanently. You can't do it just by marrying marrying them anymore. You've got to go through government agencies and this one guy that's up here that's trying to... Uh, Jason, you remember Jason. Yeah. He's trying to get his woman back over here from the Philippines and he's been trying to get her over here for two years and I don't know where the problem lies whether she's just not all that hip to come over here or or what it is but he can't seem to get her over here and uh, apparently he's just now going back with, he's been providing her with money all this time. She's got his kid and he believes it's his child and of course it very well might be. But uh, apparently a lot of military people have pass through the Philippines and fall in love with these Philippine women because they're beautiful girls and uh, and so he fell in love married her had a kid with her but he can't get her over here has a job for her even lined up and I don't understand why she can't come over here on a work visa. She's going to work in the kitchen over here. Or housekeeping or something. I don't know exactly what it is. But, uh, you... Well, well, I don't know. Right. Well, he uh, he says that there are a lot of military men that have gone over there and are interested in the Filipino uh, women and. Uh, I don't know if they're all having this kind of problem with getting them over here in the States, but uh, he was even thinking uh, letting her cross the border uh, down south with all the Mexicans. But uh, he's trying to do it the right way and everything above board because he's, he's getting a pension. He was wounded. Uh, in Desert Storm or one of those wars, sand wars, and uh, he's 
getting a pension from that and uh, or disability from that and uh, so he doesn't want to screw that up and so he's trying to do everything above board and all but uh, I, I don't know but yeah no you'll get one it's just the fact that uh, you you can't walk around, Gary. What are we going to do about your knees? Well, that's what I've been trying to figure out. I mean, have you put... Okay, that's no good. Oh, God. And uh, it's normal. And so he sends me a bill you know, for $800 and something dollars, which I can't pay. And the nurse that's you know, checking me out every day, I told her I had to change any change. Okay. My goodness, he charged you that much for seeing you one time? Oh gosh, yeah, some of that cartridge, cart, cartilage filler stuff that they've been talking about on TV. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they've been talking about they can squirt that stuff in. It's like that that foam stuff, and uh, they squirt it in, and you. Uh, basically are good to go and it <laughs> and you you all of a sudden have good knees again but it's probably kind of like snake oil and doesn't really work all that well but you know the the commercials sound good so I don't know but you, it didn't even work for one day? No. Well, my big brother, when he come to the thunderstorm, my dad needed it. He put that shit in, hurts like a motherfucker. Oh, gosh. Well, that's no good. He, uh, that's, that's no good. Well, it, have you thought about putting those braces on under your your clothes, right up against your bare skin, to uh, to use them like that and see if they worked a little better, helping you?